The latest report details on what Ezekiel Elliott did in his six weeks off in Cabo, Mexico. Ezekiel Elliott's teammates have seen the images that started coming out Sunday, showing off the Cowboys running back's sculpted physique after he spent most of his six-game suspension by the NFL for alleged domestic violence training in Cabo San Lucas. Mexico, consider them impressed and ready to see Elliot in his famous ABS in person. Elliot returns to the star in Frisco on Monday morning, where a meeting is scheduled with team owner Jerry Jones. Elliot and the Cowboys have something to play for after Dallas Wacky, to the wire 20-17 when Sunday night over the Oakland Raiders keeps the playoffs at least a possibility. That should make for a dramatic Christmas Eve game this Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks and at NT Stadium. Elliot's first game back, regrets about what could have been will be overlooked for now. I texted Zeke last week to talk to him, he's in great spirits, said receiver Des Bryan. The passion he brings each and every day is crazy, he get us juiced, and to have him back, I know he's licking his chops right now. I seen a couple opening bracket pictures closing bracket, he ready. Quarterback Dak Prescott said he's missed his best friend. NFL Network first reported how Elliott spent his banishment, which began on the afternoon of November 9th. Photos released to the outlet and NBC emerged Sunday and during the game broadcast. Elliott will reportedly release a documentary of how he spent his suspension, a 38-day stretch during which he couldn't enter the team headquarters and contact with the Cowboys was forbidden. He hasn't played since rushing for 93 yards and a touchdown in a November 5th win over Kansas City. Elliot's representatives had released a statement last month vowing that Elliot would come back even stronger on and off the field. Elliot is expected to make a personal statement soon. We were excited about Zeke, Jones said. I'm excited to have him back at the star. It's been a rough year for Zeke and he'll be the first to say that he knows his fans have had an up and down with him here. And now we're back together again. Maybe we'll get a chance to really do something special. Maybe we'll get in the playoffs. Elliot bet former NFL running back great Eric Dickerson that he would rush for 200 yards in his return, according to video released by TMZ. He said that he's gonna get 200 yards in his return, Dickerson told TMZ Sports. I said, no, you're not gonna get no 200 yards, so the bet is that if he gets 200 yards I have to give him one of my jerseys. It'll be one of my special jerseys that I played in. And if he doesn't get 200 yards he has to give me a jersey he played in. Elliot is the same agent as Dickerson, who was among those to reportedly visit Elliot in Mexico. I know Zeke, Cowboys Executive Vice President Stephen Jones said before the game on Cowboys Radio. When he left for the suspension, his goal was to get in much better shape, certainly get his mind right. He knows he's made some bad decisions and I know he wants to be one of the great ones in the NFL. And you can't do that if you're not focused on your game both on and off the field. He's going to come back and help us. The Cowboys went 3-3 without Zeke, falling apart at first to lose in three straight blowouts, but they pulled it together to win the next three, including squeezing out Sunday's win by virtue of a talk back, of all things in the final minute. The Cowboys need to win out against Seattle and on New Year's Eve at Philadelphia and get help from other teams to make the playoffs. Elliot's activities during his time away were kept out of the public eye, and even escaped social media after a couple sightings in Frisco before he departed the country. Elliot's fight against his suspension, first announced August 11, started in training camp, taking place in three states four courts and in front of nine federal judges. That kept him on the field for the first eight games of the season, during which Dallas went 5-3. Elliott's suspension was finally enforced after the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals rejected Elliott's motion for a preliminary injunction that would continue to block the suspension while the case was heard. Allegations that he used physical force against a former girlfriend on multiple occasions emerged in July 2016 before Elliott had even played his first NFL game. Elliott denied the claims and was not charged by authorities, but the NFL launched its own investigation soon after that would last more than a year. Elliott's return Monday marks the first time in his career that the NFL investigation and threat of a suspension are behind him. Elliott rushed for yards for 783 yards and 7 touchdowns and caught 19 passes for 210 yards and 2 touchdowns before his suspension.